Hey, it's Spence from WP Launch Club with your WordPress tip of the day. Today I had a great question in the Launch Flows group from Manu Lewin who asks, Hey Spencer, hope everything is good. What would be your suggestion to do A-B testing, please? Just for all pages, please. Now this is a great question. I get it often asked. And I want to say there are two types of testing that you can do for A-B. Those that are plugin only and those that are platforms or SaaS services that also have a plugin to integrate them. Either one of them is fine, but for most people, the basic plugins are just as good. And many of them, like I'm gonna show you now, are a hybrid that for free give you a quota of testing that will do just great for any of your basic WordPress e-commerce sites, sales funnels with launch flows and more. So right here, I'm gonna recommend Nelio A-B testing. I'm going to create a test where I'm gonna have a page as the variation. Uh, difference. And in doing so, I'm going to take an existing page. In this case, let's take our privacy page from this default site. And I want to make sure that the difference is who clicks the version A of the button versus the version of B. You can imagine this would be useful in a sales funnel with your call to action or your you know, add to cart and so forth. So let's name the variation clicked button a versus B. You can call it whatever you want. So if I scroll down this page, we've got a button here that I've just added with Gutenberg. What I want to make sure I do though is click on the button, go to block, under advanced, let's give it a unique HTML anchor. So let's call it CTA or call to action. So let's go back over here and now we're going to edit our variation. Nelio makes this real simple. There's lots of ways of doing this, but if we go back to the button, the simplest way is to just literally click on it and let's change the wording of it to something different, like let's rock. Now you could change the color or you could change the size. I recommend when you're doing A-B testing, only one difference. I know it's tempting to do five or six or 10 things. One difference, otherwise your test results will be absolutely worthless. So back over here in Nelio, we're gonna go ahead and say, what's the goal? Which button is more often clicked? Just type something in that you will understand. And what we're gonna choose is the click option here. And this is nice because Nelio gives us a choice of either using a CSS selector or we can just choose it by element ID, which is why I put in CTA. So the ID of CTA is what we've set up that button on. It's gonna look for which one gets clicked between the original variation or the alternative variation. And if you want, you can make a note looking to see which button is more popular. Now let's give it a name also, which button is more popular on TOS. Click the start button and we're good to go. Now, this demonstration isn't able to give us enough data because I literally just started it, but when people go to the page, Nelia will handle, and you can adjust it, how often each of those test um, offerings is weighted. For example, is it 50-50 or you give 70-30? And as a result of that, you'll also see what the conversion rates are and any improvement between one variation over the other. For basic A-B testing, this absolutely does the job. If you need to upgrade, you can go to their pro version and I got more options. But this literally is a great match for launch flows because it doesn't require a lot of complexity and it doesn't require you to just do a lot of stuff that is really most times premature. I hope this is helpful for a starting port, Manu and otherwise, and I'll see you guys on the next video.